Hello everyone. Welcome back to Blender Express. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to UV unwrap a drink can and apply a product label in Blender. This technique is essential for creating realistic product renders and packaging designs. Let's get started. First, make sure your drink can model is ready. If you don't have a label texture, you can download one online for free. The download link is in the description below. Now, let's UV unwrap the model to prepare it for the label texture. To properly map our label, we need a clean UV layout. Go to the UV editing tab. In edit mode, select the top edge of the can by holding alt and left clicking the edge loop. Next, select the vertical edge as shown, followed by the bottom edge. Then, go to the top menu, click Edge, and choose Mark Seam to define the unwrapping areas. This helps Blender unwrap it like a flat piece of paper. In Face Selection Mode, select one of the area and press L to select Link Geometry. Press U and select Unwrap. We have successfully UV unwrapped the can, but there is a noticeable curve in the UV layout. To check for any distortions, we need to test the UV mapping using a UV grid texture. Click New in the UV editor and name the texture, I'll name it UV Test. Set the resolution to 2048 by 2048 2K, for better clarity. Under Generated Type, select UV Grid. Now, you'll see the grid applied to our UV map. Let's check how it appears on the model. Press Z and switch to Material Preview Mode. If the grid doesn't appear on the model, we need to add a material first. Go to the Shader Editor, create a new material, and add an Image Texture node. Connect the color output to the base color of the principled BSDF shader. Click the image icon and select the UV test texture we just created. Now, let's go back to the UV editing tab and analyze the UV grid to check if it wraps correctly. As you can see, the vertical seam in the middle doesn't look correct, this is due to the curvature in the UV unwrap. To fix this, we need to adjust the UV layout so that the curved section aligns properly with the X and Y axes. Go to one of the rectangles in the UV map. Select the left edge, then press SX0 to straighten it along the X axis. Do the same for the right edge to ensure both sides are aligned. Next, select the top edge, then press SY0 to align it along the Y axis. Now, switch to face selection mode, select the rectangle that is already aligned with the X and Y axis, and press L to select all linked geometry. Press U to bring up the unwrap menu. Choose follow active quads and click OK. Now, our UV unwrap is perfectly aligned with the X and Y axis, ensuring a clean and distortion-free texture placement. Next, we need to replace the UV grid texture with the label for our model. Press A to select the entire model, then create a new material and name it aluminum. Set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0.15 to give it a realistic metal appearance. 
Next, click the plus button to add another material slot. Switch to edit mode and select the area where we want to apply the label. Select one face, then press L to select all linked faces. Create a new material, add an image texture node, and open the label image file. Click Assign to apply the label material to the selected area. Now, the label is wrapped around Arkin model, but it's in the wrong position. To fix this, go to the UV editing workspace, click the image icon, and choose the label image to replace the UV grid. With the UV map selected, rotate it 90 degrees, then scale and move it until it aligns properly with the label design. There you go. We have successfully wrapped a label onto our CAN model. However, let's fine tune the CAN and label materials for a better look. The aluminum material appears too shiny, so I will adjust the metallic and roughness settings to achieve a more realistic appearance. And that's it. Now you know how to UV unwrap and apply a product label in Blender. This technique is perfect for product visualization, branding, and commercial design. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Blender Express for more awesome Blender content. See you in the next video.